The world has known traditional ATMs like these ever since they were invented back in the mid-1960s, where you punch in a code to confirm it's you, and then pull real cash backed by a government authority. But by the end of this January, this city, Asia's financial hub of Hong Kong, will get its very first Bitcoin ATM. This is what it looks like. Its maker told me how it works. Tap buy Bitcoin on the kiosk, enter in $100, and scan your mobile wallet, and boom, you have Bitcoin. It's as easy as that. That process makes it faster for you to buy Bitcoin in person than online. Like through Mountain Gox, the world's largest Bitcoin exchange, where verification can take a few days. We've solved for that with biometric authentication, plus government ID scanning, plus facial matching technology. It gives people the ability to buy within minutes. Your Bitcoins are stored in your digital wallet. Once Bitcoin is in your digital wallet, you can buy real-world stuff and avoid credit card or transfer fees. If you're a gamer, Zynga this month started experimenting with Bitcoin purchases on Farmville 2 and other games. If you're traveling, you can get Hyatt and Marriott hotel rooms if you buy gift cards with your Bitcoins. Popular crowdsource website CoinMap.org tells you if there's a nearby retailer that takes the virtual currency. But Bitcoin is hardly accepted everywhere and risks are high. Because Bitcoin is so new and we're very early on in the adoption curve, the risk is that it could potentially go to zero. So, you know, five years from now, it could be worth a lot of money or it could just be kind of an enthusiast virtual currency that's worth tens of dollars, a couple hundred dollars, if that. Case in point, in 2013, the value of one Bitcoin rocketed from $13 to $1,200. But when China clamped down on bitcoins in December, its value plunged 50%. Another challenge is regulation. For now, there are no governments in the world that regulate the use of bitcoin, and that includes right here, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. In fact, the HKMA told me this. Bitcoin is not regulated by the HKMA, and members of the public should be mindful of the risks. Another risk is security. While you can just chuck a regular ATM receipt, keep your Bitcoin ATM receipt safe and avoid what one Bloomberg anchor did during a show. An eagle-eyed hacker ended up copying his code and stealing the Bitcoins attached to it. Think about the public address like your email address and your, or your username and your private key like your password. Right? He, he, he exposed his password to the world. But despite all the risks, Bitcoin seems like it will stick around at least in the short term. Kelly aims to put more ATMs in Asia, Europe, Canada, and the United States by mid-February. So if you pass by a Bitcoin ATM, sure, check it out. But think really hard if you want to stick to the safety of real-world cash, or if you want to dabble in the risk and potential reward of virtual coins.